Hello and welcome to this 4.4 feature video. In this video we will be looking at new feature Crossfade. Crossfade gives you the ability to transition between two pieces of media with the single click of a button. With the software loaded if we now navigate to the mixes page and then select a piece of content and start playing back on layer 1. As you can see we've got the green trials playing back here and I'll just change it to screen mode now here is where we can find crossfade. I'll set it to crossfade and I'll also set the time to 10 seconds so we can really see what's happening here. If you notice there's a little toggle on auto fade already and as I click the next piece of content over the next 10 seconds the two pieces will fade across. There are multiple different modes for our crossfade. We've got fade through black here which will take the first piece of content down into black before bringing the next piece of content up. We have stuff like fade up first, which will fade up the new piece of content and then fade out the old piece. We also have snap start, which will snap in the new piece of content before gently fading out the previous piece. And we also have snap end. This will gently fade up the new piece of content and at the end will snap out the previous piece. We'll go back to crossfade mode and now if we turn auto fade off, this is where the true power of our crossfade engine comes into play. As you can see, currently I'm in control of the hidden layer, which means as I select a new piece of content, the output does not change. In essence, there are now two layers running for every layer that you have. One is the hidden, one is the front layer. So now all the changes I'm making to the hidden layer won't happen until I click take here, and then the crossfade will happen. Now my previously hidden layer is now the visible layer, so all of the previews show it, but I'm back still in control of the hidden layer, so all of my changes do not affect the output. If I just make the geometry here, if I zoom in this piece of content, get it spinning, as you can see nothing is affecting the output. Now that I hit take, we will crossfade into the new piece of content. Now as I change the piece of content here, play around with the geometry again. Now the sync button is our get out of jail free card. If you are ever in a place in your hidden layer where you don't fully understand what you created anymore and you don't want to fade it in in case it's not what you want, sync will then bring your hidden layer to be an exact copy of the currently outputting layer. We also have the choice of control, so you can swap to both layers, where all of your changes will affect the output and the hidden layer at the same time, or you can just affect the visible layer, so you can build up your hidden layer and then go back to your visible layer and make changes.